Hello there everyone, this is Miriam, Holistic Life Coach and Mind Body Practitioner at Pain Outside the Box. And today I'm here to explain one very important concept. So some people ask me, how long did it take other individuals with similar chronic symptoms to recover via the TMS Mind Body Approach to Chronic Pain? I also notice a lot of people giving up on various groups or forums just because they have tried the approach for two weeks, one month, even a year in some cases, okay? And they just say like, I've been at it for, I don't know, two months and I've seen no change, so it's not going to work for me. So today I'm just here to tell you that timelines do not matter at all. They're irrelevant. It won't help you at all knowing how long it took other people with similar symptoms to recover. It's no kind of indication as to how long it will take you. So timelines don't matter at all. What matters is whether the individual has managed to achieve a mindset shift or not. So what is a mindset shift? So a mindset shift is a shift, a change in the way that you react to your symptoms and also maybe to life stressors and to the world and life in general. Okay. But let's talk about your relationship with symptoms here, because it's the most fundamental for the purposes of this video. So the idea is that you need to shift from feeling upset, disappointed, helplessness, frustrated, okay, at symptoms to feeling more okay with symptoms, more empowered, okay, and more, you know, feeling more trust and confidence in your body's ability to heal itself and to, for your symptoms to fade away. Okay, so let's, in a nutshell, it's a change from feeling upset or scared at symptoms to feeling empowered and more calm and okay, All right? So that is the mindset shift, mindset shift required. And some people manage to achieve this shift just after reading a book because they're so inspired and so convinced that this is what, what will work for them, that uh, yeah, the shift takes place and uh, they, they, they experience a disappearance of symptoms within a few days. For some people, they never manage to achieve this shift. And I'm not here to blame these people for, you know, doing something incorrectly. Okay. Because I know that everyone's situation is different. Okay. There are some individuals who may be living in a very toxic environment, very toxic situations. Okay. Who may have had a long history of symptoms, who I may have been discouraged and received all these negative messages about their body who may have had really negative and shocking experiences, okay? So of course, you know, it will be more challenging for them to start feeling suddenly, you know, all more empowered and less upset at, at their symptoms. Okay, so it all depends as well on, on, on a person's background and situation. And this is not to cause you to give up just because you've had pain for a long time and just because you've had, you know, tough situations in your life or just because you're living through a highly stressful time. No, you can always achieve this shift. But I'm just here to tell you, you know, at the things that you have to look at in order to start achieving this shift. OK, so if you're serious about this, forget about timelines and start having a look at all the things that are causing you anxiety in your life, including the pain itself. Okay. If there are other issues, you might need to work with a therapist or counselor. Ideally a therapist who also knows a little bit about mind body syndrome. Okay. If the major problem is still your relationship to the pain, the way the pain makes you feel, you would need to work with a TMS coach or practitioner, right? So it all, it all depends, but what I wanted to tell you is that look, you know, you should be looking for your stumbling block, your obstacles. So obstacles are usually doubt and the fact that you have just TMS or mind body syndrome. Okay. Or in the fact that the majority of your pain 
is due to TMS. So by working with someone else, you can make a case for TMS. Okay, you can look at all the instances, all the way that your pain manifests and uh, things would start to make sense and it would become quite obvious that what you have is mind body syndrome. Okay, so doubt is a very strong major obstacle. And the other obstacle is, of course, still the way that you react to your symptoms. Okay, how to make yourself feel more empowered and more calm. There are various techniques to help you with this as well. Okay, so some people like to send safety messages to their brain to tell themselves that these sensations, although they are painful, they're not you know, the horrible monster they thought they were, they're not going to harm them. It's just an overreaction. So just by reasoning things out and saying these things to yourself, it may make you feel calmer. Okay. Sometimes just by understanding what's happening in the brain and body, it can make you feel more calmer as you realize that, Hey, I, this, the sensation is actually an overreaction and uh, nothing else. It's not an illness that's going to kill me in the end. Right. So sending exactly making yourself essentially feel calmer and more safe is one way. And I also believe that the other way is to make yourself feel more empowered. Okay. And less, much less reactive to your symptoms when they occur. And this requires a shift also in, in, in the way you think. Okay. It requires you to catch your catastrophic thoughts, for example. It can also require a shift in habits as well, like in the way you move about in your life and the way you approach your daily activities. Okay. So as I said, a mindset shift is a mindset shift. Like it's, it's a complete, um, overhaul sometimes in the way that you've been relating to pain and to your life. Okay. So that's all from me for today. Just as a reminder, forget about timelines is never going to help you to compare yourself and your progress to other people's program progress and just focus on your relationship to your symptoms and on changing this reactiveness. Okay. That's all. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.